This program contains strong language and sexual references throughout. I feel like shit. I planned on telling Tommy that I didn't want to be with him, and then he planned on dropping a bombshell. Now, don't get me wrong, I love uncomfortable situations, not when it's me, though. <laughs> Staying in bed. Yeah. Last night, me and Sophie had a first kiss. It was a good kiss. Yeah, yeah, I'm absolutely buzzing. It was actually good having someone to cuddle last night, but I'm trying to take it as slow as I'm comfortable with. It's only been a couple of days. Hey. Since been in the villa, I've had a few chats with Megan and to be honest, I'd like to get to know her a bit more. This sort of sun's nice, like, when it's just a little bit warm. It's when it's, like, pure sweating. Yeah, baby. You're going to have to string more than two words together then, buddy. Uh, Corey, how is it sleeping in the girls' bedroom for the first night? It's nice. I mean, like, you're just as loud as a boys. Just cuddle all night. Yeah. You know, the best part was, in the middle of the night, I had this massive bang turned around and it was him banged his elbow on the side of the cabinet. <laughs> what? I didn't, didn't realise. I didn't wake up. You were like, oh! <laughs> so, are you feeling better today, Nathan, or are you still feeling a little touchy-touchy, smutchy-smutchy? What's happened? The ex that I've been calling around telling everyone that I'm in love with has messaged Tommy. <laughs> Oh, you're lying. If I'm being honest, this is probably the most vulnerable I've ever been. Don't trust no one in this world, that's what I say. I, I can't trust out. anyone. Hmm. I wonder who he's referring to. I think there's something you're not saying, because there is a lot of dick. I'm coming to have a laugh, coming to enjoy myself, but, yeah, I don't feel like Kaz is. It's been a little bit awkward between Kaz and I for the last couple of days. I'm trying to be positive and have a laugh, but she's just making it hard for everyone. Don't make it seem like I don't have a sense of humour or I can't take a joke on all this shit, because I definitely can. And everyone's seen that side of me before you've got here. You know I'm making it awkward for everyone. I'm there being good I'm not vibes. making it awkward for anyone. You're you the are. one chatting shit about me. I'm not chatting shit. No, everyone is awkward around me now. She's definitely got an issue with me being here, and she can't seem to get over it and get along with me. And I should be the one who's got the issue with her, not the other way around. I was a good girlfriend, but all of a sudden now, because we've broken up, I'm a horrible person. I never Doesn't said that. Sense. I've been, I don't know. I've been trying to be jokes. friends with you. You're, You're the making... one making out that we're enemies. I'm, I'm, me. Mate, I'm, I'm trying, trying to be trying friends to be, with I'm you too. To be good. I'm trying to be friends with you too. I had a conversation. We sat but down not. and spoke. But you not. I feel like Theo is very much gaslighting this situation right now. He's making me feel like I'm going crazy and I don't deserve to be feeling like this. Just annoying living with your ex, isn't it? Oh, Kaz, it's not just exes you need to worry about in this villa, as a hot new celeb is en route to shake things up. <laughs> but before the new arrival, Nathan's hoping to get some clarity on an old flame. I just want to obviously talk about last night. Yeah. Now that I'm sober, you've just dropped a massive bombshell, potentially ruined my life. I'm a firm believer there's no smoke without fire. So something went on. Since last August, me and him have been seeing each other, kind of. Like, we were never official, like, boyfriends. And so, because I, I, it was getting to that point. But I want to know why he messaged you. This was like nothing, because we didn't yeah. do anything. It would be different if we had differently sex. Oh, I my God, that's the last thing I want to find out. Like, imagine if you turn to it's like, like, yeah, we met up and we had sex. I'm like, right, right. Just one of them things, isn't it? It's not nice finding out information about someone that you really care about, but I guess time will tell. Oh, this is hard. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, because if we don't laugh, I'll probably cry. I'm glad that we've had this chat, because now I do feel a lot better. Yeah. But no, it's all good. It's all good in the hood. I think Nathan believes me, because he knows that I'm an honest person, so it's not that I'm, like, want to hurt him or anything. <laughs>